welcome everyone so today i'm going to show you a method with which you can actually do tables from 1 to 100 literally in your head you do not need any trick trust me no trick is needed this is just going to be like super easy calculations okay and for this to work for this to work i'll tell you basic requirements very very basic requirements you need is you need to know tables from 1 to 9 okay means you just need tables from 1 to 9 for you to know any number of multiplications from 1 to 100 okay means if i want 71 into 7 here also i can directly write my answer okay and trust me i'll tell you what is the answer as well 497 it is literally you can do it in your head okay all you have to do is you just have to remember whatever steps i show because this is going to be like super important video for anyone who is preparing for any of the entrances and for people who want to be just good at calculations okay so this is like going to be a very very important video you can please share this video to all your contemporaries and you can share this video for people whom you think math is a bit of a tough job for them you can share this video for this because this is literally going to look like a game it's going to be that that easy okay so now without wasting further ado let's start with this one so now here this trick this trick is my favorite now why did i do that why it's my favorite because this trick will work in every scenario it is like a universal trick. It will always work. Always work. Okay. You don't need to remember, uh, you know, any rules or any logic for this trick to work. It will work in every single scenario. Now, so before beginning with this, I'll just explain a few concepts. So if you remember, there is something called as distributive property. Distributive property. Okay, so now uh, let's say you have, what do you mean by distributive property? That is the first thing. You have some sum some inside the bracket and a number getting multiplied outside it. So according to distributive property, you multiply A and B and then you also multiply A and C. And what you do, you carry forward the addition sign between the two products to get your final answer. Okay. So this is very important because on this only the entire trick is based. Okay. So now let's see if like I said I wanted to multiply 71 into 7. Okay. So if I want to write this in the form of distributive pattern what I'll write this as nothing but what 70 plus 1 and then into 7. Okay. Now using the same logic first we'll do what 7 into 70 that gets you 490. Then again you do what? 7 into 1 that gets you 7. So you just add 490 plus 7 gets you 497. Okay. So this is actually the rule or basic understanding behind using this particular trick. The entire trick is based on this property. Okay. So let's very quickly see how to solve these. Let's do this orally. So now what happens is we'll multiply 54. See for you to understand I'll just do the first one in the splitting format if you are like literally very very comfortable please go ahead and do it okay so here this will become what 50 plus 4 into 6 okay so 50 into 6 gets you what 300 plus 4 into 6 gets you 24 so final answer for this one is what 324 okay now <clears throat> very quickly let's look at the next one 47 into 7. So, 7 into what we'll do first is we'll do 40. Okay. So, 7 into 40 gets you what? 280. Plus 7 into 7 gets you 49. So, 280 plus 49. So, now see, understand. If you don't want to add the whole thing, you can just add 280 plus 40. That gets you what? 320. 320 plus this 9 will get you what? 329. That also works. Or you can directly add 280 plus 49. It depends completely on you. See, understand, the more, the main motive of me making these kind of videos is that to make you all understand that math is super, super easy. You know, you can use whatever trick suits your brain. Okay, you can, I'm just giving you all the options. Whatever works for you, you can pick it and, uh, you know, stick to it for the rest of your life. Okay, next, what happens over here is 24 into 8. 
So first we'll do 20 into 8 gets you 160 plus 4 gets you 6. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. This is 4 into 8 that gets you how much? 32. So that gets you finally 192. Now this one I'm doing literally in my mind. So 4 into 90 gets you 360. And 4 into 3 gets you 12. So 360 plus 12 gets you 372. You saw how easily I could do this. Yeah. <coughs> So, I want you all to use this trick and be familiar with this trick very as soon as possible. Try to do this. You know, literally, if you do this like 20 for 20 odd sums, 20 odd examples, you will be able to do this literally while in your sleep as well. Okay. Now, coming back, like I said, there are many tricks. Okay. So, now, here, this one, whenever you have any number from 1 to 100 getting multiplied by 5. Okay. What you will do for this one is that actually students this number will this trick will work for all numbers not only from 1 to 100 it will work from 1 to infinity this trick okay so here what will happen over here is first we will do what you will divide the number by 2 so both of these are what even numbers so division is very very easy so 44 divided by 2 is what 2 22 and just add a 0. Here what happens here is you divide by 2 you get 41 and you add a 0. Okay. Now let me explain why is this working. See for 44 into 5. What I do is instead of just multiplying by 5 I do what I convert this by multiply by 2 divide by 2. Okay. So this then becomes what 10. Whatever is the answer of your division 44 divided by 2 gets you what 22 into 10. So final answer is 220. Right? I hope you got the hang of this. Okay. So now for the next one. Now obviously you might be wondering what happens for odd numbers. So here what you do is you subtract 1. So you get 66. 66 divided by 2 is what? 6. Sorry. That is that is 33. Right? 33. Now instead of 0 you will add a 5. You will put a 5. Okay. Similarly 79 minus 1 gets you 78. So, when you divide that by four, by 2, you will get what? 29. And then you put a 5. Okay. Sorry, 79 divided by 2 is what? 39. And then you put a 5. Okay, 78. Sorry, my bad again. 30, 78 divided by 2 is 39. And then you put a 5 ahead to get your answer. Okay. Now, like I said, there is one more trick. Okay. Now what happens is, see, if you have double digits, okay, like 22, 33, repeating numbers, 77, all you have to do is, it's very, very easy. This one is super easy. All you have to do is just multiply the 2 and 7, okay, so unit digit with the single digit, that gets you 14. And the middle part of your answer will be addition of 1 and 4, that gets you 5. This gets you what, 3 and 9, 3 into 9 gets you 27, so 2 plus 7 gets you 9, okay. This one is what? 1, 4 and then you put a 5 in between. Now for this one you have what? 48. Now when you add this what you get is what? 8, 2. So basically you are getting a 12. Okay. And you put a 1 on this. So you just take the unit digit and take the 1 as a carry to the next number. So 1 plus 4 gets you 5. So final answer for this one is 528. So I hope you understood how to do tables. Now I really, really, really hope that after this you guys at least people who are like literally following my channel from years and years at least you guys will have no difficulty when it comes to tables okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video